y'all all just need to calm down, baby. Calm down. Hey, my darlings, welcome to Adrija La Mode, where I share all things fabulous, darlings. I hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe. In today's video, I will be unboxing and showing you guys the install of this gorgeous hair from Hair Vivi. I also have a discount code for you guys, so don't forget to use it. It will be Adrija40 for some money off, and you can add this wig to your Black Friday list, honey, because the festive season is coming, and we want to look glam, okay? <laughs> In this video, I'll be discussing... Um, black women in luxury the backlash that is having and how far we've come and why we need to celebrate this movement i will also be discussing um five or six tips of what i do to keep up my feminine energy to boost up myself and to feel fabulous so i can't wait to share with you guys keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at tiktok where i share all things fabulous too so babe i'm so happy to have you here with me today let's go let's talk Okay, my darlings, this is the wig on. Again, this is a 13 by 6 by Hair Vivi and it has bleached frontal and HD lace. So here's a close up of the details. It's literally close to my skin. I'm actually wearing a cap underneath, but you don't have to, but this is it so far. I've cut it, as you can see, I've not really done much to the hair apart from cutting the lace i'm about to lay it down now flat and don't forget that you have a discount code if you use edwige 40 it will give you some discount in time for the black friday so make sure to add this to your list and i'm just going to show you quickly i'm just going to go through my fingers and show you how amazing this hd lace is as you can see without the cap this is what it would look like it has been bleached to match my skin and i just think it looks amazing the hair itself Itself is amazing quality the hair feels really good and it's really soft which is what I really like about it the hair actually comes already wavy like so and I really like the way it looks all I have to do is lay down my baby hairs and I'll be ready to go again the frontal is bleached like so um, it has been highlighted with a gold um, honey blonde highlight and the rest of it is like a dark brown color I'll just move back so you can fully see the hair as you can see this is what it fully looks like so it's nice and wavy it's actually ready to just wear as soon as you cut the lace and i'm really feeling this look i think it's perfect for the festive season what do you guys think comment down below and let me know is i'm gonna add some mousse to the hair and just flatten it down quickly so i'm gonna add my got to be mousse and i also have a um a, a brush here for my baby hairs So my darlings, today's subject is, uh, we're talking about more ways to be feminine and we're also going to be talking about the rise of black women in luxury and the backlash that it has been receiving. A lot of the times actually I feel like we're getting negative comments from our very own people and it makes me feel very, very sad. It's making me feel a certain way, you know. It's making me feel a certain way and before we get into it i'll just quickly talk to you why i started my channel like they say representation matters and i started my channel because i wanted to see more black women like myself being represented the aim of this channel is to normalize black women living the luxury lifestyle or trying to um live a luxury lifestyle and this is why i love the, this movement because that's what it is black women luxury is a movement and i honestly i'm here for it and i will always be here for it like i support it because it has taught me so much 
about myself. It's pushed me so hard to aim higher and seeing other black women winning and living the life that I aspire to live honestly just gives me joy. It's a win-win situation for all of us when I see a black queen living it up, okay? I don't understand why so many of us have an issue with it. You know, for so long as black people, we were denied, denied luxury. And finally, we have the opportunity to be associated with luxury and it's a problem because when you think about luxury often it's associated with um with caucasians with white i'm gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury magic cream i've heard amazing reviews about this and i decided to give it a try and so far so good you know and the reason why this subject is really um in, in, in a sense pissing me off um when people are bashing are questioning black influences and um, attacking black influences for living a fake lifestyle, attacking black influences for um, investing in luxury. And my thing is, we never, like I said, luxury was always associated with white people. And, you know, no offense to my white audience, I love that for you. And I also want myself and my community to live in grace. You know, we deserve to have the finer things in life. We deserve to have this lifestyle. I'm gonna go ahead with my Canufa powder by, um, I was gonna say Tom Ford, <laughs> Huda Beauty. And, you know, often, we question so much when we see black influencers doing unboxing, when we see black influencers, influencers investing in luxury. It's almost like, where's she getting the money from? Where's she getting the money from? I bet she doesn't even pay her rent. I'm, I bet she doesn't even pay her bills. I bet she's got a sugar daddy. I bet she's got this, she's got that. And it's like, but when we see white influencers, we never question. When we see a white person in the store buying something, we never question where she's getting the money from. Where's she getting the money from? You know, I don't come from money. I, I work hard for everything that I have. If anything, this movement has really helped me to want to work harder. You know, often I feel like we internalize the stereotype and the, the doubt. So many of us have internalized the second guessing. We have internalized the stereotype that black people are, are dodgy perhaps. You know, to see a black person with any nice item, they have to be dodgy, they have to be dealing drugs, they have to probably stole it, or they have a sugar daddy, or they're not living right at home, they're not paying rent, or they're not, do you see what I'm saying? Um, again, I'm not gonna be doing anything to the hair because the hair's perfect. I'm just gonna lay down my edges and that's it because this hair is the bomb. I may just switch it on the other side later. Again, this hair is from Hair Vivi. Don't forget to use my discount code, Edrige14. I'll leave it in the description box and all the details will be in the description box. Tell me what you think, babe. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you not? Do you find yourself questioning when you see black influencers, perhaps, like myself? Like, I see myself as a luxury babe. I, I've always loved luxury. I may not have always been able to afford luxury. I've always been into fashion and things like that. And actually, before we get any further, you know, luxury for me isn't just, the thing is a lot of people associate luxury with, um, you know, having designer items and, you know, going on expensive holidays, which it, it is in, in, in some respect, you know, but luxury for me is also being able to live a certain way in my own home and having a level of comfortability in my home. That's what luxury is for me. And obviously it's also about, um, you know, presenting myself in a certain way and living my life all together in a certain way. And I feel like it's very important. So I'm on Google and I've typed luxury and it says that luxury is a state of great comfort or elegance, especially when involving great expense. Luxury for me is about comfort. And I think Google kind of, you know, summed it up really nicely. As a fellow influencer, a, a black woman who's trying to do her thing, who loves luxury, I just think, you know, 
we need to be very careful when you come online and you are and you start pointing fingers at people for having an aesthetic and for trying to um for trying to portray themselves in a certain way at, at the end of the day you know we all have our opinions but we need to remember to be respectful and to respect people's grind and i say this a lot of the times like us black people sometimes we are our own enemy we really are we really really are um and we need to stop this this whole let's expose the inf black influencers let's expose it i don't see white people doing that to themselves i really don't see it i'm sorry to say but i really don't see white people here you know trying to bring each other down i don't see it at all it's only within the black community and black women in luxury movement for me it's 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 what we've needed for a very long time like i said we've struggled we've come from struggle you know a lot of us don't have inheritance or things like that because i don't and it's something that i want my children to have but at the same time you know i want to live my life because nobody knows tomorrow um there's nothing wrong with taking expensive holidays there's nothing wrong with buying yourself a nice handbag and like i'm always saying to you guys you know never live above your means you have to be very very careful a person who enjoys luxury a person who wants to invest in into more luxury items luxury things you know you need to be able to sort out your household first i always say this and i want to share like an amazing app with you guys it's called cashmere and this is not sponsored or anything like that i just really love the the concept and the idea behind this app i will have it on the screen as i do my makeup to just show you um what the app is but basically what this app is it allows you to put money aside monthly for your luxury fragrances your luxury handbags your luxury clothes and they have the exact same items that you see in selfridges harrods and and all other luxury department stores it just makes a luxury a lot more attainable for everyday people um because obviously luxury has been unattainable for many of us for so many years so so many years but nowadays everybody can you know afford something and i think you know having a, a great method of saving monthly for items that you want means that you can live a comfortable lifestyle without having to put your household in danger um or or in debt you know so definitely check out the cashmere app i'll leave the details in the description box but just know that you can save for your um tom ford your maison france's cut de jean your christian dior your gucci your chanel your prada like you can save for so many things on this app and honestly you can save for jewelry like babe the list goes on you know and i think for many of us um it's it's been quite traumatic you know because we've never really felt like as black communities you know that we can afford luxury and that we can live a, a certain lifestyle because we've always had to work harder than everybody else we've always had to put in more work than everybody else and our families have struggled you know a lot of us like i always say i don't come from money like i mentioned earlier i don't come from money and i've had to learn how to make money even as a woman and i like nice things so therefore i'm going to buy nice things you know um but before i go and buy these nice things i ensure that my rent first of all is paid my bills are paid and you know before i give money to my family or whoever it may be i ensure that everything in my house is sorted it's sorted and i feel like as a black community a lot of us have a very poor mentality so if you see people buying things or you see uh, black women uh, investing into luxury automatically your poor mentality takes you to the a place where i'm sure she doesn't even pay rent i'm sure she lives in a council flat i'm sure i mean i don't understand what is the problem if people live in a council flat white people live in council flats they buy louis vuittons and hermes every day of the week nobody questions them but when you see a black person investing into chanel investing into hermes um maybe buying a car the first thing people will be like oh but you don't even bought your house how many white people do you know who've not bought houses but have expensive cars but nobody seems to be questioning where the money is coming from or if they can afford it or not and i feel like as a black community we are so judgmental and to be frank it needs to stop 
because it's actually annoying. It's very annoying, you know? And like I said, I was part of this problem because I would see black babes doing their thing and think, mm, who's your sugar daddy, honey? But it's like, now that I know the now that I know the struggle of what it takes to run your own thing and to be a boss babe and be good at it and earn money i'm sure people think i have a sugar daddy do you see what i'm saying but people don't see the hard work that goes in behind closed doors people don't see like today this week i've, I've hardly slept babe i've hardly slept i've been working i've been grinding you know but people will see the results and automatically think yep yeah, she's got a sugar daddy yeah she's got a this and she's got a that and we don't ever associate white influences with these stereotypes and that's what's very upsetting to see our fellow black people come online and diss black influences for perhaps taking a picture outside somebody else's house but i'm not being funny it's part of the job it's part of the job i i honestly feel like when people start bashing black influencers for wanting more and trying to um, educate our followers on ways to live a better life and just investing and enjoying our life, going on an amazing, luxurious holiday, excuse me, holidays, holidays, it's a problem. Like this needs to stop right now. Like honestly, I've had enough. Like I said, I don't see the Asian communities bashing each other making videos online about their influencers living a fake lifestyle or the asian movement that may be happening but all of a sudden when it's black women in luxury everybody has a problem with it and it's not just black people who have a problem with it it's other people as well but in majority the people who have been making videos online and silly comments online are black people majority of it's black women if you can't afford a luxury lifestyle or if you have a certain way that you live your life you cannot project that onto everybody else stop trying to interject your negativity on everybody else you know stop it so i know people who save money for a whole year to buy a handbag and then all of a sudden and even myself i don't ever just spontaneously go out and buy a handbag i have to save for it like i said i don't come from money i work for my money I have bills to pay i look after my family do you see what i'm saying so it's like i cannot just go out there i don't have the privilege to do that and it's hard out here for everybody it's hard out here i'm not me buying expensive items it doesn't tell you that i've made it in life and i feel like often this is what people think oh she thinks she's made it in life oh she thinks she's this why don't you invest in a house why don't you invest in this but it's like babe even the most richest people in the world some of them don't even have some of them have never even bought houses they're still renting until this day you know just because you've bought a house in this country or wherever it doesn't determine anything it doesn't determine anything most people now are even stopping investing in properties have you seen Patricia Bright's video, babe? If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. And this is the reality of thing, of things, you know? Investing in properties is great, but it's not for everybody. It really isn't for everybody. And I feel like we need to stop trying to make other people live our dreams. And I feel like in a black community, that's what it is. Because you, if you have, if you had money, you would invest it into a property. If you had money, you would probably, you know, buy a new car you would probably i don't know do something with it and when you see somebody making money and all of a sudden it's like oh if i were you i would do this with my money with with the money i would do that but it's like that's your dream stop trying to put your dream and the pressure on me i'm not you we don't have the same values we don't have the same life and who told you that i'm not investing privately <laughs> do you see what i'm saying so it's really annoying there have been loads of um forums online tiktok twitter instagram you even here on youtube people are just talking rubbish <laughs> and it's just frustrating as a woman as a luxe babe who's trying to do her thing um you know entrepreneur self-employed black woman it's very very frustrating because it always comes from our own we are so quick to judge one another we are so quick to stereotype we are so quick to point a finger at each other 
to second guess we are just so quick to judge okay my darlings moving on now i'm back to contour and i love using my fenty beauty coco naughty and mocha mommy to do my contouring since we're discussing black women in luxury and i want to talk to you about some of the things that i put in place or implement to enhance my feminine energy and i'm hoping that maybe you could give it a try and see how this can really improve your life and improve you as a person i speak on this all the time like i'm always telling you guys self-care is self-love honestly don't let anyone lie to you and self-care can be so many different things that just helps to bring out your feminine energy and my first tip for that of something that really helps me to um to boost my feminine energy is having a having a routine one of the things that i love doing is going to the gym i'm one of those people when i look good i feel good like i i do my best when i feel my best and look my best and that's something that as i got older i'm really discovering about myself like when i don't feel attractive i'm really really like flimsy like i'm just there you know um, my whole dress sense changes my attitude changes and i just feel like going to the gym just really helps to boost my energy it really helps me to feel attractive to feel sexy whenever when i tone up and work out i feel like clothes everything just fits a lot better doesn't it everything just glides onto you onto me rather and i feel very elevated energetic i just feel good you know and i feel like we really need to invest in our um physical appearance or you can go for walks if you don't like to go to the gym or if you don't want to commit to a membership then you can go for walks maybe in the evenings maybe instead of taking the bus to work the first 10 minutes you could probably walk it just means that you might have to leave a little bit earlier than usual um so you can go for a walk or maybe like every friday evenings or weekends you can have like your bath routine where you you know have some candles play some music read a book and just be in your element and just enjoy your own time um and just me time you know have your time and just relax without the husband the boyfriend the children and just chill babe like it's so important because life is already super stressful and you know just have your nice buff oils and i'll link a few down below actually for you and you can just invest in like really nice like bubble bath soaps or normal soaps and invest in your body cream something that just makes you feel luxurious and you know you guys know that i love fragrances so definitely invest in some really nice fragrances that smells gorgeous it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg you can just get some from zara um i'll leave some alternatives in the description box as well but i know that in terms of high street zara does amazing ones asos also have a great selection actually deb's put me on like they sell these really small samples so you can definitely check that out some of them are like 22 pounds another thing that i tend to do a lot is like my skincare i really take time to do my skincare um maybe you can put on like a face mask again i'll leave a few of my cheaper alternatives down below for your reference just so that you can have a look because these actually really really work i'm using my mocha mommy fenty for my crease um just to bring that color a bit in more it's like a really nice bronzy brown color um but we're going for a really simple look you guys know i like my makeup very very simple anyway having a regular upkeep is really about practicing self-care and self-love because when you love something you spend time on it you spend money on it i always use this as an example like men love their cars they probably spend a lot of money more money on their cars than on their women men am i right or am i right <laughs> <laughs> another thing is on my list is hygiene okay as ladies as women i feel like it's very important to be clean ladies your personal hygiene is imperative it's something that men notice about you but obviously this video isn't about things to do to get a man or to get men to notice you or anything like that i believe in looking after yourself for yourself taking care of yourself for yourself you know um because if you have to do it for somebody if they give you any reason to stop you will stop 
right? So it's important to have that foundation for yourself so that regardless of whether a man comes into your life or not, you are always looking at your best. So in terms of hygiene, I would say to have a regular shower, please. It sounds very basic, but a lot of people don't be having showers every day, you know? And I'm just like, baby, how can you not wash yourself every day? Like, if you can't do twice a day, at least please do once a day. Please, not every two, three days. Don't be having a night shower and then not wash throughout the day. You know, each to their own. Some people prefer to shower at night, but it's nasty for me, okay? But <laughs> having a regular shower and taking care of your nails. I've mentioned this before. I hate dirty nails like fingernails needs to be clean no pinky please ladies and gentlemen no pinky let's stop that okay let's stop that rubbish i'm gonna go ahead with a mac film noir this is a blush i believe yes there's something about getting my nails done my ne my pedicure and manicure that just helps me to feel brand new it, it helps me to feel elevated like when my toes and fingers are done I feel so done up. For me, it's an equivalent of getting my, my um, my uh, what are these, eyelashes done. I don't really do my eyelashes like that because it irritates me. Um, so I prefer to wear the strips. Um, but yeah, like having my, I did mine yesterday, my nails and they just look insane. I love a classic French manicure. This is like a milky pink with a white tip. My absolutely favorite and I got the same on my toes really really love it so babe what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do a reverse contour with a powder okay my babes so so i've done my lashes i've done my um inner tear duct so now i'm gonna go ahead and these lashes are from l lux lashes i'll have the details in the description box this is in uh luna okie dokie so i'm gonna go ahead with my Giorgio armani smooth silk pencil in number 11 and yeah so the next tip for um enhancing your feminine energy is to invest in yourself mentally and one of the things that i like to do is read and listen to things that motivate me and that pushes me and encourages me to do more um so you see if you watch my vlogs you'll see that usually in the mornings i listen to affirmations that just helps me to boost my feminine energy And it may even be like reading a book and it may be, I don't know, listening to a podcast or, you know, speaking with people who mentally energize you, you know, I feel like it's super important. So yeah, the lashes I'm using looks like so. It's L Lux Lashes, like I mentioned, is called Luna. I'm going to go ahead with my Chanel Gabrielle in 444 Rouge Lipstick. Yeah, babe. So just invest in yourself and... Um, maybe it's, it means going back to school, um, doing some sort of study that's going to help you to level up mentally. Like all these steps are really important and often we neglect it, you know, because life is so busy, so much is happening. We forget to take care of our mental self and just taking care of yourself mentally. So it may be like speaking to a therapist. It may be, you know, speaking to a family member that you trust or somebody, one of your friends, your partner. But I feel like sometimes it's best to speak to people that you don't know um, because then their opinion isn't going to be biased, if that makes any sense. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead with my Laura Mercier powder. I use this as a highlighter this is in the color translucent i just literally go here and tap 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 and i just tap it here as well okie dokie just like so and another tip that i like to exercise is investing in my pajamas i like to invest in my lingeries do you know treat myself to new lingerie and i feel like a lot of women tend to only do this when they're in a relationship or married or whatever but you don't need a man in your life for you to treat yourself to a lovely sexy lingerie that makes you feel good and helps to boost your feminine energy babe you don't need to do things for a man you know you need to do it for yourself at first Above all, you've got to look after yourself for yourself. Stop doing things for men. 
you know invest in your lovely sexy robe pajamas like i tend to get mine from lily silk um and there are loads of other brands that do it as well even asos has a great selection of lingeries and even for big bus you can check mark suspensers there are so many so many so many shops that you could shop um you can get a nice little collection going i'm not saying you have to be girly girl all the time no but what i'm saying is don't just look after yourself when you're going out when you're in your house as well it's important to keep up to you know to upkeep all the things that you do when you're outside because i've heard a lot of men complain about women you know when they're outside they wear their wigs but when they're home everything comes off and it's like really so you're out there looking good for everybody else but you can't look good for me so in that instance you have to also keep it up for your man but before him you have to do it for yourself do you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna go ahead and pat all of that off when you really take care of yourself that's when you really start to live in your power that's when you really start to feel your best self and i'm sure we all want to feel our best self at all times you know i know life happens okay so i'm gonna go with my mac gold deposit as a highlighter and another thing that i wanted to discuss here is you know how you it's posture body language and having a positive attitude and i feel like these three things are really key when you want to um, live in your feminine energy when you want to boost yourself and feel your best self you know it's it's good to have a good posture because when you walk into a room um, you walk and demeanor says a lot about you so we need to practice on positive energy and a positive walk and confident walk because a lot of the times we walk into a room head down we can't even look at everybody in the face it says that you're not confident you don't know who you are babe so when you walk into a room with your head held high you look at everybody if you need to greet people you greet them with a smile like it's good it's good it says that you're a positive person you're confident and you know who you are you know when i used to work in a city i used to meet a lot of confident women who would come in in a man's world dressed very femininely like just kicking it and being amazing at what they do and walking in with confidence and they speak well they present themselves well and i used to look at them and be like wow i really admire them they would sit and cross their legs still being feminine and still being a boss and i I've, i took that from them you know so i try my best to sit right even when i'm eating sometimes i find myself like this i'm like mm. but i'm like no dude you gotta sit right because as soon as you sit right uplifted chin up you're more able to smile and be in a good mood and practice smiling often this is something that i tend to do now oh what where are we now so i think now we are pretty much done you know i'm gonna go ahead and spray my hangover spray by Too faced just to hydrate everything Oof. okay so yeah this is something that i um have been practicing i've noticed that when i'm home i don't smile a lot because it's just me i find myself screw facing just just really like i don't look pleasant at all it has affected my mood it really has and, and i've started to find it quite difficult to come out of it and i said to myself just because i live alone it doesn't mean that i can't be happy i can't be smiling while i clean while i do other stuff you know like i have to enjoy every moment of living alone and smiling and just being friendly and having a positive energy about you and having a good attitude is a very very important um and i feel like that's something that we as women need to practice more because i've heard a lot of men say that they're afraid to speak to women because you know women have an attitude and as soon as you come and say hi it's like yeah what and it's like take it easy just say hello sometimes men just want to say hi you know without getting your number without you know whatever they just want to say hello babe so just relax please calm down yeah i just need to calm down baby calm down do you know what's so special when a man comes to you and says oh you look so beautiful and he minds his own business and he just goes like some of you can't even get that because as soon as a man makes eye contact you're like like how is he gonna come over babe if you're like relax even if he's not your type just let the man compliment you <laughs> do you see what i'm saying let him compliment you and then he will go man his own business it's not that deep relax <laughs> so yeah my babes those are the tips that i do to help me 
feel more feminine feel more elevated and this is the makeup look for the day what do we think with my gorgeous heavy v eternity hair this is a 13 by 6 frontal hd lace and it has been bleached not bleached and also it has been colored with this gorgeous honey blonde baby naturally wavy i've not done anything apart from cut the lace and laid my baby hairs how amazing so if you're a lady on the go this is the hair for you and like i mentioned earlier hair vivi are amazing because if you're not happy with your hair don't worry they have a free shipping and free return and they ship the products to you within 48 hours so your girl got you don't forget to use my discount code it reach 40 for some money off so this is the look babe what do we think do we like it I like this. I'm really liking the red lips on me. I don't know if it's because of the party season or what, but it's giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> and yeah, have you liked the topic today? What do you think about it, babe? I would love to know. Let me know what you think. So this is the hair on the side. What do we think? I've not had a side part for the longest time, babe. I really like this. Which way do you prefer? Do you prefer it middle or do you prefer the side? We'd love to see it, queens. I'll, I cannot wait to chat with you in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the topic, the hair, the makeup. Are you feeling it? Are you not? I would love to know. Thank you so much to Heavy V for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, but don't forget to add this wig to your wish list for Black Friday by using my discount, Edwige40. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, babe.